Hello and welcome to Infinity and the last in the first series for Absolute Beginners. Uh, and in fact, if you've got this far, if you've got to episode 30 and you've followed through, you're not an absolute beginner anymore, but we are going to keep the, the title. But you should now be able to approach things and you know, either just do some automatic stuff or whatever you want with it and also get more comfortable with the overall interface. So let's have a quick look at some of the things that we've covered in the last 29 episodes. So over here, we, under the adjustments tab here, we've got a number of things we played with. We, we looked at these levels, white balance, HSL, hue, saturation, and luminance. We looked at brightness and contrast, vibrance here, and the curves. We've looked up here a little bit at color and how the histogram up here works, which from dark to light showing you how much there is there. So there's a lot of lights, blues up there, which is up in the sky. We've also looked over here at the toolbar. There's the view tool, which we can move things around. Then down here, you can crop. We've got the selection tool. We did a lot with that, including refining. You know, there are other selection things here, like the rectangular and marquees and things like that you can use. We did a little bit with the paintbrush. And down here, there's the right click on that. We've got dodge brush, burn brush and sponge brush. We did all those together. We did the, down here, the clone brush. And down here, we did the blur, sharpen, median and smudge. So that's rather a lot. Up here, we did look at these auto levels, which are the first things we did. Just if you're nothing else, just click on those will make a big difference. Then up here in the, be the files, we did opening, saving and exporting. Editing is basically cut and paste stuff. Um, text we didn't cover. That's really for graphic artists. Or you can use the bit because it's terribly powerful what it can do. Um, documents. Not so much here, but you can see the things. Look at the things you can do here. Flip horizontal. Guess what that does? It makes it, flips it horizontal. So you can explore more. And it, this is about becoming more comfortable with using the interface. Layers we haven't covered, and I deliberately so, because I know that that can be a bit harder to get your head around. I spent absolute years of avoiding layers. And my son said, you've got to get into them. And eventually I did and found out how powerful they were. But it's not a place to start. But in the next series, we will. We'll be going a lot more on that step by step, a little bit at a time as the way we do it. Selecting. We've done some things here. We've used the deselection, but we've also things like selecting by colors, red, greens, blues, the tonal range by midtone shadows and highlights, and then selecting the sample color. Arranging simple stuff we haven't really done. Filters. Blurs, we did the Gaussian blur, we looked at the motion blur and the radial blur, which are all those three are ones you use mostly. Sharpening, we looked at the unsharp mask. Noise, we did some denoise. And then filters, we did look at the show pixel selection, but there's other things you can see in here. Windows is fairly standard window stuff. Help, one more note here is the help system here is actually very good. It's offline, so it's with it. It's on your computer. You don't have to try and access it online. And it's surprisingly good. It is better than most that I have seen. I just drag that in here. For example, if I type, say, selection up there, then you get all these things here just from that search. Then, oh, look, these refining pixels. And it tells you what all the controls do. It shows you pictures of it and so on. And look, tells you other places. The help is a really, really good resource, and I'd recommend it to you if you're ever wondering what you want to do about something. So then, that's kind of overall a very quick summary of what we did. So in here, also, I've got a document which um, is a very simple two page, but it's a summary of what's in all the episodes. And on the second page, there is a list of these and all the files because you can now get the files and download them and use them. So I've made them all available to you. They're all my own photographs 
I'm not trying to be a clever photographer here. I just enjoy the editing side of it as much as anything. Um, what I've done with those is the files have been shrunk a bit because originally I tried to put them all on, but it's 200 megabytes and it's just lay on, just far too much. So it's down to, I think, about 10, 20 megabytes now. So they, they're big enough to use, but not so big they're cumbersome. So those are going to be available to you. If you look down below, look for the links to the beginner's files and there's the place to download them. And also you'll get this document with them as well. So there we go. Affinity Photo, Absolute Beginners. You're not a beginner anymore. And I hope you've enjoyed this. What I'm going to do over the summer, I'm going to be taking a break from this, turning this down a bit, but I am going to be working on some things which in particular there are literally hundreds of videos and a number of people have said to me, could you just like index them? In which is itself is quite, quite a lot. It means creating hundreds of web pages, literally. And I'll be doing that. I'll certainly make a start on it so that in the autumn, um, I'll be releasing those and showing how to use those. And I hope that will be helpful to everybody. But then I'll come back and I can do a second series in which I'll cover layers and some other things, but carefully, stepwise, a bit at a time. So until then, I hope you have a very good summer. And please do stay safe. And I'll look forward to seeing you another day. Thank you very much for watching.